Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing fine. In this video, we are going to learn how to upload data on thingspeak.com with Arduino microcontroller without internet, IoT shield or GSM shield just using Python. Let's get started. So for this video, I'm going to be using my code which I have developed which is pretty small, concise and beautiful. So um, so I usually like to uh, play around with the code. I, I usually make functions of each and every single module. So here is the function known as post uh, cloud underscore humidity. And I have a function known as read underscore data. So basically, if you have not watched my videos regarding how to get data using Arduino and Python, please watch it. So this concept would be cleared. So after reading the data from the serial monitor, uh, basically I'm creating a threading module because you cannot keep updating request on the ThingSpeak account. They will block you. Okay, so you have to send request after every 10 to 15 seconds. So after every 15 seconds, this program is going to work for that. I'm using the threading.timer module. I have a video on how to execute a code after every n seconds. Please watch that video in order to understand the timer module. So val equals to read data. I'm reading data. Then I'm splitting the data after a comma because in my Arduino, my data is coming after a comma. So I am splitting the data. Then this is my API of thingspeak.com. Here you can see if you observe that is field one and field two. So simultaneously, I'm updating the field right now. Data equals to URL lib dot request dot URL open the URL print data. So it is would be uploaded on the uh, server. And if the temperature is greater than 29, send me an SMS. Um, so I'm using an IFTTT account to send SMS. So here you can see how I'm designing my own payload. Let's see this in action. I have my iPad running so I can show it to you guys. So I have my iPad right here. So give me a while. So I'm just turning my screen up and um, sorry for that. So things view. All right. Um, so here you can see uh, I don't have any data as of now. So I do have data, but the last data that was updated was a long time ago. And now let me open my software. So here you see, and now let me run this software. I seriously like Python. I like to, because it's so amazing and you can do so much with Python. So let's run this software real quick. So yep, it started and it posted the data to the cloud server. Let me get my iPad running here. So here you see, I got the sample here at 5, 18, 21 um, at December 4. Oh, today is December 5. So we are still waiting for the sample. So let's wait for the data to come. And meanwhile, I can also show you the data here. So still we have a December. Oh yeah, I just got a sample right now. I think so. Uh, this is December 4th. So let's wait for 15 oh yep i got the sample yep here you can see so when is the december 5 at 19 25 37 so we got we are getting the data from the from the from the microcontroller and uh, if i observe here carefully right now the data is about 30 degrees the and if it is more if the temperature is more than 29 degrees celsius i will get a notification on my ipad or and um, through a IFTTTT, basically if this than that. So let's see, I'm just uh, holding, keeping my hand on the sensor so that it's it will uh, take the heat of, it, basically it will uh, take the, my body temperature when I'm placing my hand here. So the temperature should increase and uh, I should get a SMS real quick if I'm not wrong. Let me just see my code properly if it is. Uh, yep, if the value is greater than 29, yep, if it is greater than 29, so right now it's 27, we still wait uh, for the value to rise up to 29 degrees Celsius, and as soon as it goes above 29 degrees Celsius, uh, yeah, I have my phone right here, I should get a notification, oh yeah, here we go, we got a notification on my on my iPhone, let me see if I, my, if I have the same messages synced on my iPad as well, um, well, I'm not sure if I have the message there. Okay, I, I, I my iPad, my iPhone is, my iPad is not synced right now. So I can, let me just show you that it worked. And um, 
I'm gonna disconnect my iPad here. So just gonna disconnect it and show you that I, I, I have received a SMS. So I'm gonna try to connect my uh, iPhone. So let's just wait. Should be connected in a while. Please be patient for uh, that so I can show you clearly that I am getting notification. And here is the cool thing. I am getting notification. Either I can get notification with Twilio or I can get notification with uh, IFTTT. So either way I can get SMS basically. So due to some reason, I don't know why. Oh yeah, I need to connect to my computer's Wi-Fi because for air playing my display, it has to be on the same Wi-Fi. Otherwise, it's not going to work out. So give me a while. So I'm just entering my credentials right now for the Wi-Fi so that I so whenever it's on the same network, I can actually mirror my display. So here I am. Should be connected in a while. Yep. Here you see it's connected. Sorry for the delay. So here you see I have the SMS from Twilio account saying that the temperature was high. So I'm using the IF. It also sends me through Twilio, also through IFTTT. So it also sends you a notification. So basically, I have converted a normal Arduino microcontroller into a powerful processing device using Python. So as usual, if you like this project videos and uh, uh, do give a like, subscribe to me. And here you see the two true raw processing power of Python. So basically, I'm processing the data. I'm reading the data through the microcontroller. I am posting it to the cloud server using threading module. After every 15 seconds, it is uploaded on the cloud. I am also getting an SMS using the Twilio API and also IFTTTT, that is if this then that. And so the way this works, I don't want to keep sending all the time messages whenever the temperature is greater than 29. I just want to do that once. So the way I do that is using a flag. So I set the flag as false initially and whenever this uh, condition arises, that is it's greater than 29 degrees. So initially the flag was false. So not of false is what true. So that means if true, that means it's going to execute that, right? That means send SMS. So it's going to send an SMS. I'm going to, I'm, I'm calling my function and sending the temperature to that function. So let me show you the function. This is a function. Here the temperature comes in. I am defining my body. Here you can see, and I'm just using the formatting, string formatting, and I'm simply sending it. And also through IFTTT, I'm doing the same thing. Here you see, uh, so basically this is a dictionary. My payload is a dictionary. So I'm replacing the dictionary value with uh, my temperature. And that's so easy and so powerful. Just a simple Arduino, a DHT sensor, and a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If so, do give a like, subscribe to my channel. And as usual, the code is there in the description section below on my GitHub account. Please follow me on GitHub. I have a lot of codes on Arduino processing. That's it for this video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you so much.